we're going to continue to focus on the power of our words today. And today I would like us to look at a wonderful example in the Bible. And I would like us to look at the woman with the issue of blood. And if you're familiar with the story, you will know that Jesus performed a wonderful miracle when he healed the woman with the issue of blood. But the Bible tells us, you know, she was or she was experiencing a hopeless situation in the natural because, it's, you know, she had this condition for years and years. And then the Bible says she heard about Jesus. So the moment she heard about Jesus, hope was birthed in her heart. But then she started doing something that helped her to experience her miracle. And I believe if we do what she did, it will also help us to experience miracles in our lives. But the Bible tells us in Mark 5, verse 28, out of the Amplified Classic, it says, For she kept saying, If I only touch his garments, I shall be restored to health. So here we see the moment she heard about Jesus, she started hoping and she started believing. But then she started saying over and over again, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be restored. I will be healed. I will be made well. And what I love about this woman is she used her words to change her situation. She didn't use her words to just describe her situation. You see, the Bible tells us we walk by faith, not by sight. And it's important for us in life as believers to also speak by faith and not just by sight, not just by what we are seeing around us. It's important for us to use our words to change our situations, not to just describe our situations. You know, two things that I believe can help us a lot in life. And, you know, in fact, I believe it can change our lives. And the two things are if we stop saying the wrong thing and we start saying the right thing. So I want to encourage you today. Be like the woman with the issue of blood. Use your words to change your situation. Use your words to proclaim the promises of God. Use your words to build hope and faith in your heart. You know, maybe you're facing a hopeless situation today or maybe it's not hopeless, but maybe you know in your heart you're not experiencing God's best in an area. Maybe you know in your heart that God has more for you available in an area. It might be in the area of finances. It might be in the area of relationships, maybe in your health. But whatever it is, start using your words to speak life. Start using your words to change your situation. Don't just describe your situation. And I believe as we start speaking by faith, and not just by sight, it will change our lives, just like it helped this woman with the issue of blood to experience a wonderful miracle in her life. So let's be um, mindful that our words are powerful, and let's be reminded today that we can use our words to change things in our lives. So stop saying the wrong things, stop just saying what you're currently experiencing, and start to say the right thing by faith, Proclaim the promises of God. And remember today, you are highly favored and deeply loved.